If you look at pancreatic cancer, where is the greatest potential for advancement within the different types of pancreatic cancer patients? And if you look at it, you realize it's the patients that had had surgery. Because those are the ones, surgery is the only thing that can cure this disease. So the people that have surgery are the ones that we really should be curing. And we're not. If you do surgery on 100 patients, there's a very large study uh, done that was published in JAMA a few, about a few years ago, showing that if you do a Whipple procedure on patients who are operable, it's only 15% of the people that can get surgery. So if you do a Whipple procedure on those patients, 90% of those patients, if you do nothing after surgery, will relapse. That's amazing. That's unforgivable. If you give them six months of Gemzar, it goes to 77%, 75%. That's better from 90 to 75%, but it's still much too high. So in other words, 75% of these patients are going to relapse within two years of surgery. And relapse equals death in pancreatic cancer. They all die if they relapse. So we started taking our patients at Columbia who've had the Whipple and negative margins, clear margins. They could have had positive nodes or negative nodes. It didn't matter. And we gave them six months of GTX, thinking that it's a much better regimen. And our relapse rate at, uh, our relapse rate at um, two years, 18 months to two years, which is where you compare it, is 32% as opposed to 75% with gems are and as opposed to 90% with nothing. So that is exciting to me because if we could reduce the relapse rate from 75 to 32, that's more than half of the patients that we could salvage. We could salvage 68% of these patients and hopefully give them long-term survival and maybe cure. So that's what I'm very excited about. And I think that uh, by next year we'll be ready to, to um, show those results.